I'm hearing about a last ditch backdoor effort to try to get the assault weapon ban voted on by adding it to another bill that's getting a vote. And I want to tell you all about it. But first, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that's EuroOptic. At EuroOptic, their inventory is real-time, and anything listed as in stock is in stock. There's no drop shipping games played, and they ship everything the same day. Their red shipping offerings provide one- and two-day delivery commitments at no extra charge. So they have the stuff, they ship it fast, and you get it fast. They're also veteran-owned and operated, and they are located in Pennsylvania, here in the USA. And their sales staff, guys and gals, they're here. When you call them, a real person picks up, a real person from here in America, and they're all sportsmen, they're all hunters, they're all shooters, and they will steer you right. I want to thank EuroOptic for being a big friend of the channel, and let's get on to this video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Uh, I did the video last night on Biden and his cronies' new push towards the end of this legislative session here. There's two weeks left, literally, in the Senate session. Uh, the new group gets sworn in on January 3rd. There's a new push to try to pressure Chuck Schumer to schedule the assault weapon ban for a vote. Now, I personally do not think it's going to happen. This is the lame duck session of Congress. It's the end of the year. There's the holiday breaks. There's very little, if anything, that ever gets done during this period. Uh, but with the shooting that took place in Colorado at the nightclub, there is a renewed emotional pitch toward getting this assault weapon ban passed in the wee hours uh, of this session. Um, so let me say, I, don't, I really don't see the path to victory for it. But I just want to, it wouldn't be me without telling you that this is going on behind the scenes, especially if you live in places like Colorado, you might want to start, you know, keeping track of what these politicians are doing behind the scenes. So the groups that are pushing this, and I'm going to give you just a few of them. There's a lot of these groups. March for Our Lives, Newtown Alliance, uh, Newtown Action Alliance, Guns Down America, Every Town for Gun Safety, Giffords, uh, Brady, March 4th, and the like are putting pressure on many groups to get this unstuck in the Senate. And I don't think it's going to happen, but this is a push like we really haven't seen uh, because they're using the, uh, the uh, emotions based off of what happened in Colorado and specifically the type of establishment it happened at and the community that it affected and this is the way they're looking to do this. So there's a, a, a bill called the Res Respect for Marriage Act. And it's a bill that will uh, basically force states to recognize same-sex same -sex marriages from other states. And the Senate is taking up that bill when they come back from the Thanksgiving recess and they're going to vote on that bill. Now there is a push, there is a movement, there is an attempt... To get H.R. 1808, which is the assault weapon ban that passed through the House and sits dead in the Senate because, for obvious reasons. Because it doesn't have 60 votes to pass cl uh, cloture to, to kill, the, kill the filibuster. But there's a movement to try to attach that uh, assault weapon ban bill to this Respect for Marriage Act as an amendment. Doesn't make a lot of sense strategically in my mind, but I am not a, uh, a political attorney but I do, I have been watching this stuff for 20 something years. So their thought process is, is the bill will still get voted on. And if the amendment fails, then the amendment fails, but they'll still get this uh, bill theoretically passed. But what they didn't take into consideration is most times when an amendment is passed on a bill that has been come through the other chamber, it has to go back to that chamber uh, to, to make sure everything jives, right? The other chamber's got to agree to the amended part. And I don't think, well, I guess their, their thought process is if we can get that assault weapon ban passed as an amendment to the, uh, to the marriage bill, well, then the same chamber that passed the, the assault weapon ban in the first place would approve that. That's their thought process. I don't know. I just thought I'd bring it to your attention. Uh, the, there's a huge amount of pressure uh, being placed in Colorado right now on their two senators because they're both in favor of this um, this marriage bill, the um, Respect for Marriage Act. There's also a big pressure being put on Kristi Noem, 
because she was working on this bill uh, or in favor of this bill as well. And they want all parties involved to pressure Chucky Schumer to schedule, either schedule H.R. 1808 for a, 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 a vote. That's the assault weapon ban. And I don't see that happening. I really don't. Um, or to add it to the um, Respect for Marriage Act as an amendment. Haven't heard a lot from the uh, from leadership side. I will let you know as soon as something uh, is said about it. But I just thought it wouldn't be my channel if I didn't tell you what was going on behind the scenes. Some more dirt being thrown, mud being slung to try to get their ultimate goal. And that's to disarm Americans. Now, I had a couple of people reach out to me saying, you know, and, and they're, they're viewers of the channel and I respect their opinion, but... Their, their view was basically, and I'm going to surmise it without, you know, putting people out there. It's like, when is enough enough? And shouldn't we do something? And my response, I'm going to just say it publicly because they're obviously going to watch this too. Yes, we absolutely should do something. We, as a society, should start taking all the means necessary, all the rights given to us by our, our, our uh, founding, father, founding fathers who created this country to do what they told us we can do, and that's to protect ourselves. Take the steps necessary instead of giving up that right and giving it to some political puppeteers who are just giving you promises and word service so that they can be elected forever and stay in power and become billionaires on a $200,000 salary. Yeah, that, that's what we should do. We should do something. We should go tough on crime and keep these sons of bitches behind bars instead of letting them out to reoffend. Um, yeah, we should do something. That's why we have a Second Amendment. So that you can be safe, you can stay vigilant, and you can protect yourselves and others. Yeah, it's about time people started to wake up and do something. Guys and gals, let me know what you think down below. Again, chances are minute. I don't think it'll have. I don't think it'll budge because of the ramifications that come along with that. The assault weapon ban. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know because it's it's happening. There's whispers. Actually, in Colorado, they're more than whispers. They're kind of yelling at it. But. Uh, now you have that information, please go out and share it with other people. Make sure we educate people and uh, have a great day. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe, because that's how we do something. When evil pokes its face up in our lives, you have but just a split second to make sure that you can stop that evil so that your life continues. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going home at the end of the day, and I hope you do the same. Take care.